This is a tutorial for the macro generator creatomid.eu. In this first video, I would like to guide you through the basic workflow of importing macros from and to the Blackmagic Design Artem Mini Extreme. In further videos you will learn how to generate macros for Supersource animations, layout templates, stinger graphics, and much more. Creatomid.eu can run from scratch, and you can use the built macros then in the Artem switcher. But you are also able to load an existing configuration, modify it, and save that back to the Artem Mini. So you can extend your macro library step by step, and each export is a backup of one previous configuration. Check that you export at least the macro section and import that, too. The other parts will not be touched by creatomid.eu. To start, Attach your Artem Mini to your computer and launch the Artem software. In the first menu select to save your config, select macros and everything else you want to save, too. Remember the file name and location of the XML file for the next steps. Now go to creatomid.eu in your browser. We tested Google Chrome for best results. On the first screen, you can now upload your XML file. If you prefer to start without previous configuration, then leave the default file there. It is time now to select the right assistant. The Supersource animator is able to generate flying animations for intros and outros between Supersource layouts. That's the main assistant here. The Supersource layout template generator saves Supersource configurations that can be selected via macro and that can be used in the animator for easier animation definitions. And the Stinger generator uses downstream key animations for Stinger transitions in videos. But we now go to the part after the generator assistance to see how the general workflow works. We look at the different assistants afterwards in special video tutorials. So think now about what to do after the selected assistant is ready. You have selected there, on which space the macro should be saved, you can add or overwrite existing macros too. The generator integrates the macros there in the XML file and try to save and download the results. You can also save the file manually wherever you want. Back in the Artem Mini software, you can load the XML file again, where you saved it before, first menu on top. Select at least macros. In the macro menu, you can see, rename, edit or start these macros. We love the macro buttons for starting them on the Artem, but often also use Stream Deck for that. If you like to add more than one macro to the XML, you can do this directly inside creatomid.eu, as you can restart any assistant with the already loaded XML. And you can import everything at once to the Artem when you are ready. You now know, how to use creatomid.eu with your Artem switcher. Firstly hand over the XML configuration to creatomid.eu, then add macros with the assistance there, save the extended XML files back to the Artem Mini, and you are ready to go. Next, see the other videos that describe the different assistants in detail. You will find links below to more content, to our Discord server, and to the forums, if you have any question. We hope that you like creatomid.eu.